Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. Okay, so now that we got our panel color sanded down to either 2000 or 4000, whichever you prefer, it's time to buff. I'm going to take my rubbing compound and my double sided wool pad, and I'm going to go ahead and vigorously put wax on half the door. Because we also are going to buff this in sections. See? It's always better to do everything in a section because it keeps it more uniform. So we're going to start out by just basically spreading the wax out evenly. Uh, I'm using my finger as a variable speed and I'm going about approximately 900 RPM. Once we have the wax, the rubbing compound, I'm sorry, spread out uniform, now we are ready to start buffing. I'm going to go in a pattern such as back and forth and then I'm going to bring it crisscross I mean back and forth and I'm going to bring it up and down so I'm going to go horizontal and vertical and then I'm going to come back I am not going to do swirls in it okay I'm going to use the buffer and I'm going to go like this with the buffer that's what's going to make me move it see if you watch close you see what I'm saying I'm using my hand okay right here I'm using my left hand on my T handle to guide the buffer. I'm steering the buffer. All I'm doing with this is pulling the trigger and letting it glide. I'm also using a little bit of pressure with this hand. So the T-handle hand, whether you're right-handed or left-handed, whichever you are, always remember this is how you steer your buffer, okay? And this is how you guide it and you're also putting pressure down. All you're doing with this hand is balancing it. Do you see what I'm saying? If you are not comfortable with buffing, okay, there is a trigger lock on your buffer. Do not lock the trigger, okay? Keep your finger away from that trigger and do not lock it because if it takes off on you, you can ruin your paint job. I am going to go ahead and lock my trigger in place and buff the door out. One more thing that's very important as we buff our door, you're going to see that the buffer turns only one way. You want to keep the turn coming out, okay? That means when you're buffing this, okay, you don't want the edge to catch the edge of the door here due to the fact that you'll burn the paint. So, <coughs> so when riding around the edge, okay, you want to come to the left side of your body, okay? Okay, because if I was going the other way, okay, if you notice, if I was going this way here, the buffer would be digging into the paint and burning our edge. We don't want that. So pay very close attention to all your edges and corners which way the buffer is moving. When you're buffing out your panel, you want to use the light from above as a guide, okay? Because when you move, so does the light. And you want to, what you're watching for is you're watching, you're watching the paint, okay? The paint job to make sure you got all the dry spots out. If you look at my buffer at this time, you'll see that there's wax build up on there. So what I'll do at this time is I will take my spur tool, okay? And I will get that dry wax off. You want to make sure that all the dry wax is taken off of your buffer due to the fact that uh, if the dry wax stays on there, it will burn your paint. Now I'll go ahead and proceed to finish buffing with the wool pad. the way the buffer turns is the way that you should go. So, as you see, I'm getting that edge where the buffer is turning this way, not into it. I'm turning away from it. If you notice, we're done. 
Okay, we are done buffing our door. That took one third the time as it would if I buffed with 1500. At this time, I'm going to take my wool pad, uh, my waffle face pad, okay, I got it on the buffer, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, finishing polish, okay, my foam pad polish, and I am just going to use very little. All this is is a cleaner and a wax. And this bottle is almost empty. That's all you need. That's it. And it's a done deal. We're going to go over it at approximately 900 to 1,000 RPM, and we will be done buffing this panel, and we will look at it outside. Buffing with this pad here, you want to be very careful because once again, that's a sharp edge right there and if you get it clogged in to a corner or a crevice, it will burn the paint off. You want to take your time and you want to buff it properly, okay? All, and the same rule applies to staying on the outside edges, especially with this. This, is a, this here will burn your paint faster than the wool pad, so be very, very cautious with it. And you don't use this at 1800 RPM unless you know what you're doing. You use this at approximately between uh, 5 to 1000 RPM. And we are done. Color sand and buffing our door. Let me drag it outside. We'll see what it looks like in the sun. I want you to get a good look. If many can come over here and please be the camera person, I'd appreciate it. We got many here today. Uh, she's actually working with us on Sunday. So I'm gonna let her be the camera person. Are your hands wet? Yeah. We'll dry them off. And uh, we're gonna take a good look at the finished product of color sand and buffing your car. If you follow my procedures to the T, you will understand that buffing and color sanding is not as hard as you think, okay? Uh, once again, this does not apply to single stage paint. If you are gonna do single stage paint, you wanna just start at the buffing stage, okay? And play around with the, uh, the speed of your buffer until you get the right feel. All right, how you doing today? You look tired. I'm hot, tired. Hot, tired. We're gonna take a break in about ten minutes. How's the car looking over it's, there? Uh, See, Charlie's up. in there working. How's it looking? It's looking good. Yeah. We're... Big job. You're still on fifteen hundred, right? Yeah. Do I need to check it all out before we go to two thousand? I don't think so. We still gotta do the roof. Yeah. And the. Front. How's it looking in there, Charlie? Good. The roof and the. Okay. Nose. Are you getting the hang of it? You've been gone for a year, bud. How's it looking? I'm getting the hang of it. Again. All right. Don't burn through the paint, sir. How many sheets have you used, Charlie? Uh, good, good, good. That's what I want. How about you? How many sheets have you used? I think I'm on the fifth sheet. Here. Good, good, good. See, that's what's going to speed things up for you. Just doing it my friend Pete's way. Okay, we're probably backlit right there. So what I'm going to do, I want me to come over here with the light shining down. Can you see the glare in that? Can I you can see, the see the shine? Okay, look at my hands and my arms. You can see that even on silver, that is a mere finish. If you look real close, you can probably see my friend Pete looking at you right in the eye. Am I right, Minnie? There you go, yep. Okay, can you see that? I can see two of you, yep. Okay. If you come over at this angle right here, okay, being silver, that it is, it doesn't really look that shiny, okay? Because the lighter the color is, the less gloss that you see in it. So I wanted to get that angle. Now we're going to take it outside in the sun, and we're going to see how beautiful my friend Pete's custom silver actually looks. If you look at my hand rubbing that, can you get the microphone down? You can hear, you don't hear nothing. It's just like glass. And now if many can come over here where the sun's hitting it and kind of get up close and do a walk around of it, we'll see that that is very coarse and high sparkled silver. But if you look real good, you can see that the door has a lot of sparkle and a lot of grain and it has a lot of beautiful my friend Pete work done to it. The bodywork came out good, but we're not talking about bodywork, we're talking about color sand and buffing. What the deal is, is if you look at the door, I haven't even washed it yet. 
Okay, I took my time, I did it right, and basically it's done. All right, I can actually go over this with some final finesse wax, and the door this would be done. But I'm going to go ahead and wash it off because we got wax on the bottom here, and blah blah blah. And basically, that's the situation we have. We are done with this door, and it is a done deal. Now, if you look real close at my face, you can see that the silver is blinding my eyes. Am I right, Minnie? Yes, blinded by the light. Is my face lighter? I can use this for a sunscreen if I'm out in bathing. I can take the door and lift it up in my face like this. There you go. You know, you know those silver things they got? Well, this door is so bright that I can do that like this and get a good suntan. There you go. Oh, I'm sorry. I was getting a suntan. Hollywood style. You know how the upper class is. Okay, anyway, so there you go. Color Sand Buffing 101. Or should I say, number one, from my friend Pete, your friend Pete, everybody's friend Pete has just showed you how to do it right. Take it easy. I hope this little video set has helped you out. Take your time. Watch the video again if you have to. It's free. You don't have to pay for it. Okay? You're not paying to watch these videos. They are free for you forever. As long as the internet is here, my friend Pete will be here. Even when I am gone in reality, Okay, I will still be here with you, showing you how to do it. Now walk around it. Kind of get the sparkle, but get close to it, back away from it. Come on, you can camera guy better than that. Jeez. Shut up. Well, jeez, man. Okay, now walk over here. Show Charlie color sand. We'll end it there. Get a little commentation from Charlie. You learning anything, Charlie? Oh, yeah. Were you listening to that little lesson I just gave? Yeah. And pay attention, sir. We are almost done with this big bad boy. All right, baby, so let's turn the camera off and get her done. Thank you. Let me have my camera. You did good. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.